thank you so much. And uh, now I would like to uh, welcome with us today, with a great honor, someone who doesn't need any introduction, Karl Lagerfeld. And we have also with us Manuel Diaz, who is a friend of Carl. Welcome, Carl. Hello. And uh, please. If you like. And Manuel Diaz of, from Imakina. Welcome, Carl. Who is, uh, who is his friend and who is going to help us uh, uh, get uh, some questions from the internet today? How are you doing, Carl? Well, How are you doing, Carl? Very well, very well. I had a show last night, so it's nice to do something very different the next morning. Excellent. Well, we are uh, really glad to have you. And um, see, I've, I've, been, uh, I've been with you for a few days already. I have uh, Carl Lagerfeld. Uh, uh, little doll here. But I think it's easier to stay with that one than with me. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll put this one, uh, this one here. Um, Carl, can you do, you, do you mind if we talk about Carl? No, I mean, uh, if you want, as long as I'm not the one who starts the subject, it's okay. Uh, uh, very good. How do you, how do you think we, you, 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 you got, you reached such a success? Did you think, you know, since the beginning you would, you would, you would, uh, you would create such a huge brand? Uh, that you are today. This is, and you know the funny thing, it, it didn't happen when I was 20 or 30. It's something difficult to explain. In fact, I cannot even explain it myself because I see myself very different from this kind of marionette uh, I became for the world. I think it's very funny, but I'm the most, the most surprised of all of them. I was, um, I noticed that you, you speak very fast and you actually do speak very fast. How yes, come you uh, speak yes, that fast? Because I was told uh, for the things I had to say I couldn't take much time when I was a child. <laughs> well, we have plenty of time today. Yeah, well, no, no, I have no time at all. And you know, uh, I, I love to read and uh, a, a German philosopher Schopenhauer said, but every uh, book you buy, you should buy the time uh, to read it. But the drama is time is not for sale. No? You don't, you, you buy, you, you, you buy and read a lot of books, I yes. see, you, yes. have, you yes. have a full, how many uh, books do you have? Uh, I don't count, but apparently up to 300,000. <laughs> I, I collected it all my life and I cannot stop buying them and I'm a publisher too, I have a publishing house too, so I publish books also and all that, I cannot stop it, it's like, like a, dr uh, a drug, you know, I'm, uh, it's exactly the same thing. And uh, I made a, a publishing house in Germany called LSD, because, in fact, it says uh, Lagerfeld Steidl is my business partner, and D means printing plant, because uh, reading is a drug. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you don't read on a, on a Kindle, right? Uh, a certain kind of thing, but not uh, really books, because I'm a paper freak too. Huh? You like paper? I love paper. But, you know, uh, I think it's boring, the office with no paper, what is the future, but uh, I was delighted to discover that one could work with the iPad in an unbelievable way uh, and sketch on it and, and even on my telephone I can send my sketches, I photograph my sketches and I send them on the iPhone to, to my studio. I mean, that helps better than because before I used the fax and the fax that something was disappeared. I know people who have only a fax because of me, but I start not to use it either anymore. And they don't change, they don't become better, they get worse. So uh, I think the future is somewhere else. Huh? Do you use those? Do you have a phone on you? I have more than one because for all distinct uh, people and destination, I can Kay. show Sabine, you. can we show uh, what, what Carl is, uh, is showing us? If we can have a camera here. This is my iPad, what I use like a diary. Okay. And, and here are oh. my, uh, my four iPhones. You have four iPhones. Wait. Can we, can we have, oh, we have a camera. Okay, very good. So. And I point, so I know what every point is, you see. Who can call this, who so can call this, who can call this. And they have all different codes. And here are my uh, iPods with, uh, wait, wait, wait. with, with the compilation of the moment. And here is my, my pen for the, for the iPad. Carl, can you explain me again those, those dots? What, how does this work? This is a very personal question. Oh. <laughs> I, I reckon. <laughs> I, I don't want to, uh, you know, ask personal questions. No. Uh, so, so the personal question is, who are those points? Yeah, no, no. But the funniest thing is not the point; it's a box because I bought that at Colette. Uh, I found something to protect the phone with me on it. You can have me, or Lady Gaga, or Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> 
Okay. I mean, that is fun if you are the person. I, mean, I don't know why strangers should carry uh, my portrait around, but I mean, it's fun in life that you can go and shop and buy your own uh, portrait. Huh? It, so, can I say you like having yourself with yourself a, a lot, like having you on an iPhone? Yes, at least if it's on the table, some people know it's mine. Huh? <laughs> I get it. Yeah, exactly. Huh? <laughs> and, and so, it's one per person who calls you? Yes, no, not for one person. I know more than for people. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And you carry them all, all the time? Yes, this box made by Celine is very pleasant for that and it's very, uh, very good concept. I have another one by Chanel, uh, but this one is the biggest because I carry all this around 24 hours a day because I have it on my night table too. And tell me about the, the, the uh, this iPods. This uh, uh, compilation of, of, of CDs I, uh, I buy because I think one should buy music and not charge it for free. Huh? And uh, some of them are made by Michel Gobert. You don't, you don't like pirates? No. You buy the music? I, buy, I like because, you know, before I make a selection, I like to have the CD, listen to it. Uh, and oh, physically, you, like the books? You buy the, the plastic? I like CD? books, I like CDs, but I like them too. But I make a selection first and then I make the final selection, I put it on on iPods, but I have hundreds of them. Because I never, hundreds? Uh, yes, because I never, and there is a code behind, you see? I only can read because it's not so much better. This means this one I made it the 11th, 11th uh, in, in November uh, two, uh, 2011. So you don't change them, you load the music once and then that's it, that's the... Oh, no, 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 I listen to them, but I, I have to know for when, from what period it is, that's why. Yeah? No, no, it's, it's, it's a very good thing, and I travel with them, and I have them always with me, and, the, and most of the time, I, they are not totally filled up, because then it's too long to go through. They are filled, perhaps, something like 30 uh, uh, CDs on it, not more. And, show me, what, what, can I ask you, no, or is it a personal question, too? I, maybe no, it's not personal, this is, this is the pills for, for dinner, the and, and <laughs> these are the ones for lunchtime. It's so this really, is low tech. You see, you ask very personal okay. questions. So. I am sorry, Carl. No, no, huh? Can, can I see, so iPad, four iPhones, um, m hundreds of iPods, yes. uh, do you, so it looks... And you know, uh, iPads, I think I have 20 or 30, wherever I have, in all my, I have them because I sketch on them, and uh, I use them as diaries, like photo books, so uh, there is a subject for this, a subject for this, a subject for this, uh, I think that is something what never happened before, that was impossible before. Before I had little cameras from Sony who were good, but they don't make the good one anymore. They became complicated. Oh, this is much easier. You are into it much quicker, and the quality is much better. The film quality is even better than the photo quality, I think. The photo quality, you can use it on a computer and then treat it a little like an old uh, uh, color photo from 1910, because it's not as sharp as cameras can be. But for films, it's very good. I made lots of little movies uh, for Chanel, for, for internet. I just made four last week. On, on the iPad? Yes, yes, I can show you. Huh? Uh, sh uh, sure. Um, we will try to project it, actually. Let me see if I can, uh, if I can do this here. I'll, try to, I'll switch the on. The most boring thing, one has to remember the, the codes all the time. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, put it, put it. No? No, I must say I'm quite a fan of all those new things because it's our time. Yeah? I like the past, but I like the present even better. Do you have a... And also I made, I made a movie with Yoko Ono with this one too. Yoko Ono dancing, what she never d uh, did. Uh, the story is, I, I give you one... Let, let me check uh, if I can. Yes. Here you go. Okay, uh, but it's not on this one. But I have it on a CD. Uh, is it, is Do we have the image of uh, Carl Sagan? Ah, here, 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 Sorry, Carl, some technical no, no, no. Uh, details here. I understand that all. Or maybe we can just film it. Okay, go. I'm let's go. Let's, let's I'm very patient, you know. I can see that. Let's, let's go ahead and see it if you, if you like. I can start? Yes. Okay, okay. It's, it's, why does it, 
No, no, it's showing here. See? Uh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, but it has to go the other way. Look, it's, uh, no, no, stop it, stop it, because it doesn't go. It has to, your, your camera, your installation is not good. There you go. Now I have it. Exactly. Try no, don't move it too much. Try it again. Um, okay. But, but this house has nothing to do with the story. Look Here, like you have it. Don't, don't move it too much, please, Carl, if you don't uh, mind. I, I don't I, want to be I, too... I certainly will not tell you who's the owner of that house. Huh? <laughs> so, wait a minute. It's far away, so I have to make the gallery to get, to get, to get it all. Okay. Y you're... <laughs> um. No, I have... Here is this, this one. No, it goes in the other it's direction. It goes this way. Okay. No, this is the end. Wait a minute. Well, let's. You see, there's still a lot to do. Uh, yeah. And this is not my fault. N uh, no, it's mine. You are <laughs> the one who put it in. <laughs> this is um, this this is unfortunate. Um, you know, it's unrehearsed. Huh? Uh, totally. <laughs> it's totally unrehearsed. So t tell me what is in it. It's, if, maybe we can film it from the top. Yeah, look, we have a camera here. Let, 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 let's show from this. Yes, this is much better. There are limits to progress, too. Huh? <laughs> it's a girl who is looking for a handbag. And it's a hippie-like girl in a very chic interior. So what's happening here? Do you see? Here is the bag she was looking for. That's an ad form bag, that's all. It's a little joke, you know? I like little visual jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about um, how, you, how you promote uh, your brands, because I, I, I've learned that you don't I like... I don't promote, I, I'm just myself, you know? I don't make uh, not the slightest effort to promote, I hate that. Promotion is a business people do with my name, with my person. Personally, I promote nothing at all uh, except just being me. Huh? I've read a quote from you, let me know if it's true, where you said, I'm very down to earth, not just this earth. It's true, it's true. I'm beyond down to earth. But it hasn't to show too much. You must not discover everything, but I'm very well grounded. So you did, you, you were explaining that you, you've been drawing on iPads. Yes. And you've, you've, done, you've done one uh, drawing. Just for you, I, I did more than one. But I, uh, I taught it myself because I found out a way to do it. And in fact, it's not that far from engraving. You must, because if you do the big thing with the color spots, it's very easy. But if you really know vaguely how to sketch, and I pretend that I know vaguely how to sketch, uh, you can do it like an engraver. And the result is quite stunning because you can mix it with big color touches and very refined uh, like uh, engraving. And I think that it doesn't look like my sketches at all when I sketch with other techniques. And uh, uh, I must say it's a surprise that I'm working now on a book. I illustrate a novel only with uh, iPad sketches. What's different about iPad? What's different is it's a technique. It doesn't look at all like my sketches normally. And you chose to, you, you've, 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 you've done a sketch for us today? Which, yes. which has not been shown anywhere. Yes. And no, no, this I did uh, this morning for you. This morning? This morning, yeah. I, I'm a last minute person, you know. <laughs> and you chose Steve Jobs. This is why... Yeah, I mean, that was, uh, if there's one person to be chosen, it's him. I'm sorry. Huh? <laughs> why did you choose Steve Jobs? Because I think he was, I, I'm sad to say, we have to say was a genius, and uh, he changed the world. I mean, as much and even more than some of those people. Huh? Let's, let's see the sketch and maybe you can talk about it. Oh, it's here, actually. It's there. So this is coming from Visa's iPad right, right here. Um, and here you go. And um, so can you explain? You, so you've done that this morning, basically. Yes, yes. You know, this is, this is pen here. Hmm. It's very easy because you can... Uh, <laughs> If once you understood the system, it's very easy. Can you show me? Yeah, sure, but I mean, I, I mean, Can we have a camera, this, Sabine? But another you know, camera? That, that take much more time, that, huh? Oh, I, I was not expecting you would do another one. No, no, no. I mean, that, that, then I would be bored to death. I have to sit here for one hour and a half, huh? 
get ready while Carl is uh, getting ready. We will take questions from the room and from Twitter. So hashtag Carl. Um, and uh, if you tweet hashtag Carl, Manuel Diaz here, our friend, will uh, we'll take some questions uh, from Twitter to Carl. So that's what you use? Which software is that? You yeah, wait a minute. I have to come back to the get out of the gallery. Voila, okay. But then this has to be go to the in the trash can. Will the trash can here? Wait a minute. No, the gallery I don't want. I, voila. And I want but I want to remove this one. So I have to, wait a minute, no, we have to, to, to remove that to get rid of this. This are other sketches I did. Here? Okay, perfect, great. But I mean, is, is this, so what color we want? How big? So, because it's unbelievable what you can do with it. You can make it like this, but it's nearly like a hair. What are we, what are we sketching today, Carl? You know, the easiest thing for me to sketch is myself. Huh? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Carl, sketching Carl on an iPad. Ah, wait a minute. Then I should take a little thicker from if not, it will not show on the, on the, okay, I think it does, right, there is a strike, what's going on? Why is this not working? Is it the pen maybe? No, the pencil is there, this is done, so, uh, and the color is, is, is chosen. What's going on there? How about this? This is normal? Yeah, no, it's... Uh, go ahead. Hmm. I have another one, but I don't have the other pen with me, but normally the pen is not ruined, huh? Okay. Um, I guess it's a software problem here. No, you cannot sketch on the gallery, that you cannot. Oh, so we're on the gallery now. Maybe start again. Uh, is that brushes? Brushes there. This is for what I have chosen, so I don't need that anymore. These are the colors, the colors are here. You have someone that maybe that can help? No? But I, what can that be? I mean, um, even with the finger it doesn't work. As if, if we do a new, a new one, maybe? Yes. No? I'm sorry, yeah? <laughs> but as I said before, this is unrehearsed. Wait, this is new? Let's try, try this one, I did just new. Oh, oh. oh. What happened? I don't know. That had never happened to me. Do you want to start again? Now I know how to do it. No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. So no, you're no, no. we're doing Carl now. Are we doing Carl? You're not really helping. Huh? I know, Carl. I apologize. So get your questions ready, uh, hashtag call, and we will take a few. Do you have them coming, Manuel? Yeah. Very good. So we'll take one just after uh, Carl has finished sketching. I'm so glad we... You know, the, the danger is to, to use this big color brushes, and then the effect is a little easy, yeah? because the engraving e effect is completely different, but it takes much more time. So if you want to make the shadows with the engraving, you have to do this. And when did you start uh, drawing on, on iPads, sketching on iPads? Nearly there? as soon as those Immediately. Can, okay. Since they exist, nearly. You, you look, if, if you, here it's still the big one, and this is not good. So you have to make it very, very tight. Uh, and then you can make shadows with it like this, you see? Because this is too harsh, if not like this. But you know, for that, they made a special desk. Normally, one is not sketching like this in the middle of nowhere. 
You're getting questions, Manuel? Yeah, a question coming from Eric for you. Let's, 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 let's just you, finish. You see, well, there's not much to finish. You can see it's me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, this is great. Okay. It, it, is, uh, it is not really what I would call a masterpiece. Uh, <laughs> we put it in the gallery. Yeah, in the gallery, and in the gallery we put it in the trash can, and it, <laughs> oh. and, uh, and it disappeared in the minute. It's gone. <laughs> and there's another sketch I had done before, and here's another sketch I had done before, here's another sketch I had done before. Well, of course, it takes some time, and then you don't... Uh, yes, this is all I have on this one. You know, for me, they're like, like sketching pads. Uh, it's like having a pad of paper. You trash a lot of things. Is fashion oh, about yeah, creating what, and... Whatever I do, 95% goes to the trash can anyway. You know, you cannot keep everything. You have to, to, to make a choice. No second option. Huh? You don't mind about your past? No. I don't care about it. Even. No, 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 because it's interesting to, to, to find new ways, but not to keep things with no interest. Manuel, do we have a question from the room? So Manuel Diaz from Imakina. Talking about technology, Carl, um, someone is asking, has technology changed your creative process? Do you use technology in your creative process? Has it changed anything? For sure, but in a way, what is not really uh, something you feel day by day, but suddenly you realize that 10 or even five years ago, things were completely different, you see? It's not from one day to the other. It's a very strange thing. I, entered quite slowly all that. For the iPhone, I waited uh, for a long time because I didn't want it to be reachable. But in the end, it, it was impossible, you see. Huh? So all that happened slowly. In the beginning, I had four or five numbers, and now I don't know how many hundred I have on those four phones, you see. So one gets into it, and, and suddenly one cannot uh, remember uh, how it was before. But I think there is a little overdose of it because in the people, there is a new attitude. People walk like this now in the street. It's like in a madhouse. You hear people speaking in the street. Uh, 20 years ago, you would have been arrested if you scream in the street like this. And, and another question saying, uh, do you think... Just save, that, save a username too from Twitter, if uh, you want, if it's, yeah, if it's coming from, from there. Henri Vaudot say, asking that, uh, do you think that in the future you will not use any more any paper? No, no, no. Or, is, or is it complementary? You know, this is like TV and theater. Both can exist. Huh? I don't think one sh uh, thing should kill the other. Huh? No, no, no. For me, I love paper. I love uh, those new things. If I like TV and if I like uh, theater. No, no, no. They can exist, but they have to be good. Uh, they, they must not be third rate. Mm -hmm. Third rate sketches could disappear because then it's better you do it like this. Huh? Another one, Manuel. Uh, I can see plenty here. Yeah. You um, see, this, this is coming from social networks, uh, so from Twitter in this case, and from the room. I'm not looking at it. I You're not looking. I don't have an idiot you, card. You, as they you, call it. you don't look. You don't, you don't like. Uh, you don't go on the web much. Uh, when no, you read, no, you read no, no, paper. No, 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 everybody around uh, me does it. You know, I have not so much time. I still have to invent collection and things like this. So uh, there are moments you better alone True. and not connected to the rest of the world. If you want to stay in connection with the world is not because you're over connected that you are well connected. Huh? Yes, and we have, uh, we have actually, we need to talk about your collection now. Um, is, is, uh, is Natalie uh, around? Yes? No? Okay, we'll take one more question. Uh, yes, okay, so just wait, uh, Natalie, we'll, we have a video from, uh, from you and a surprise. But you know, I have another, <laughs> look, if you look at my jeans, it's a surprise of my company, they made me jeans. If you look at my, my, my profile on the jeans, it looks, like a print, but if you look, it's me. <laughs> so if I lose my head, I still have it in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, uh, I've got a, this is the most amazing q and I've never done in my life. I've got a special guest for you, Carl. Uh, I hear you're doing, a pro um, you're, you're doing a collection, and so we... we I do three. Uh, I, do, uh, I don't even talk about Chanel and Fendi, but for, for Karl Lagerfeld, we do three different collections. Okay, so we, uh, we have a special guest for you, Nathalie Massenet. Nathalie, can you join us on stage from net a -Porter. Nathalie? All those collections will only be, only be sold on the net. Huh? Uh, I think that's a new way. Nathalie, welcome. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Hello, Carl. Would you like... How are you, Nathalie? Hi. Would you like to sit here? So, uh, or with me, up to you. Um, 
Well, we have something exciting. What's happening? Announce. So, Natalie, you're you're the leader in the world of fashion online. What is? Can you explain Net Porter for anyone who doesn't know it? And and you have also uh, Monsieur Porter, right? We have Mr. Porter and netaporte.com. Um, in 2000, we launched uh, the first interactive shopping magazine, um, and we deliver the most beautiful fashion around the world um, with beautiful service. Um, and, um, and we launched the same thing for men, uh, mrporter.com. But today, um, we have something very exciting to announce to you, and we've chosen this conference as the perfect place to announce it which is that on January 25th, 2012, we will be launching Carl, uh, and it's going to be the first... Not the person, th no. <laughs> we're, we're launching the Carl. Person. That's cool. <laughs> um, and it's going to be the first truly um, global launch of a fashion brand, and it's going to be entirely online. And um, I have to say, fa uh, Carl has made fashion history, and together we are going to make fashion and technology history. And so we thought that today was the perfect day to announce it. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And I think... <laughs> no, I think it's a very uh, modern way and it wasn't done before. And uh, the thing I think are most interesting are the things one hadn't done before. Because I don't want to be in competition with my own other brands like Chanel or Fendi. So I like Lagerfeld. And it's for years I already wanted, but it wasn't possible before, to be that way and the business run that way in a way what is totally the way uh, of the 21st century. So there is no defile, it's all online? So, I mean, Carl is the most um, modern and the best designer in the world. And um, this is going to be um, a truly online launch using um, every technology we can think of, um, from augmented reality to mobile to social. Um, and um, obviously it starts with beautiful clothes. Carl has the most amazing collection of clothes, which has um, uh, accessible price points, but also the most beautiful evening dresses, high and low. And um, the collection will be available on carl.com as well. And, um, but it's very exciting that netaporte.com is... And I think you this. brought us an exclusive that has never been shown before. And so we have a video. Sabine, can we hear that, uh, that video of the collection? I think it's never... It's very short, but it's never been seen before. It's more a teaser. I wouldn't a say it's a full video because this was done only last week. Uh, that was that was so fast. I'd like to. You mind if I we see it again? Sabine, can you put it up again? Go ahead. Because those models <laughs> are it's the first time ever you you showing. The yeah. models you've chose, right? Yeah, but I mean, I know those girls. I work with those girls, especially with Anya, the famous Polish model. She's genius. So Let's see it again, Sabine, if you can uh, load it up again. As I have not done it myself, I can say it. <laughs> Looks like they like it. I must say I like it too. Huh? Is that going to be very expensive? Um, like you do two hundred thousand uh, dollars dresses, right? Like you, you, you do more. You do like. No, super I don't. I think the, the prices are right for the time they are living in. You see what I mean? Huh? <laughs> There's going to be, um, I mean, the, the, the main thing about this collection, I think, from everything, is accessibility. And um, the fact that women all over the world are going to have access to Carl um, is already a first. Um, the price points are accessible, so uh, the, there will be... Give me an idea. Um, great jackets for uh, 150 pounds, 200 oh, really? pounds. Oh, okay. um, and But all the way to beautiful evening dresses, um, which will be more expensive. Um, but the idea is that, um, you know, in, it's particularly interesting that we're here in the home of Haute Couture in Paris, um, that we are going to be talking about this collection, which is um, actually a new form of haute couture, going directly to the consumer, um, but not at those prices. Is, is this something that is that showing a trend, do you think? Because you, you're, you're such, it's not even luxury, right? What, what you're yes, but, you know, the luxury in my life is that I can do the most expensive existing in the world, 
and the easiest to get because I wouldn't say the less expensive, but they're not too expensive. Huh? But the things are very well made. And uh, you know, years ago I did H and M, and there I saw that I have an appeal for the other side of the business too, even if I'm not a businessman. And before we launched that, we made a little test in America with a special collection for Macy's, who have a department store, 250 department store, and uh, it was half on the net and half in the shop. They did 300% more than they'd expected, and after a week nothing was left. But the most surprising thing is they had for that on the net one billion cl clicks. What is unbelievable. One billion, I don't know. Sure. And is it something you're going to... Yeah, now it's completed. Now I don't do a collection for other people anymore. This so was just all, for you now? This was only... No, for, for Lagerfeld, yeah, exactly. Uh, this was only to see if it works or not. I think it was an interesting test. Uh, and then, I mean, they are great anyway. But uh, now I'm interested that it's done the way she can do it uh, and the company can do it for Lagerfeld. Huh? And how, how, do you, how do you see that as a first, like how do you organize this thing on, online, on Etaporte? Well, the most exciting thing is that the collection is debuting uh, to the customer. Uh, traditionally, a fashion collection would have been debuted to the fashion press and then to the buyers, and then six months later, the consumer would be able to have it. This is so modern, that, which is going directly to the consumer, which I think speaks to the heart of everything that we stand for in, in the technology business, which is going straight to the consumer. So that's brand new. Um, we're uh, going to be able to ship all over the world simultaneously. Um, we're inviting people to join us on uh, social networks and Twitter, and we're creating a special app. I can't tell you very much about it because we're going to be um, unveiling everything over the course of the next few weeks. Um, but um, we're really um, celebrating fashion and technology. And um, let's let's talk about this for a second. Both of you, um, the the geeks. The, the entrepreneurs in, in our space, in the, in the internet space, are not particularly well known for, like, I, I have to admit, I, I, did, you know, I did this because I, I was a little scared to have you. You're impeccable. You think I'm impeccable? Yes, exactly. A white shirt with a black uh, uh, suit can never be bad, except if the suit is badly cut, was not the case. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carl. But so, uh, is there a geek? Do you think there is like a... Um, like you see those, those entrepreneurs in the room who are, who are and outside who are building those apps, or little cool apps you, you, you use to sketch and so on. They're kind of like, you know, jeans and... Everything, I love jeans. Look, I'm wearing jeans. Huh? Is there, you think, um, a geek kind of uh, attire, attire or, you know, yes, code? Everything is, everybody's free, everything's allowed. Huh? Anything goes. What do you think, Natalie? I know, I know you want people to be, you know, to, you, you, you like... No, I think that the 21st century is about personal expression, and there are people who want to dress the way that they want to dress and express who they are, and fashion is an amazing gift for people who want to um, make themselves look better, transform themselves, express an opinion, a personality, even change from day to day. And, um, but I don't think that fashion and technology are mutually exclusive um, in the same way that the music industry was completely transformed by technology. Uh, we believe that uh, this is the next big frontier. You know, I think fashion today comes a lot from different pieces, T-shirt, everything. It's not a total look. And fashion items, new things, are perfect to spice up what you already own. And so you can make a new look with your old thing and new things and continue because they are not that expensive. In the past, if somebody bought an expensive dress or whatever, it had to be taken care of. Today, the approach is much more casual because things are less expensive and you can keep them, you can rework them, you add things. We live in another world. One can not at all compare anything what's going on in fashion and the fashion world because fashion is what people wear. It's not only what you see on the runway yeah? uh, with the past. Today, things are allowed who were considered the worst in the past because people are freer now. Carl, what's your advice for entrepreneurs here to Bring, like, first, you're one of the most, like, probably the best well-known personal brand in the world. You're a brand, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're everywhere. I was driving next to the uh, Printemps um, yeah, yeah. Uh, shops, and you have a, a vitrine there, just for yeah, you. All, all, yes, exactly. But, you know, how many people saw the vitrine? Because they can't count. Eh? Since it was open, it's like, like three weeks ago, eh? 25 million people passed by. 25 million? Yes. 
So what's your advice? Because we have like startups. There is no with... advice because it has to be reinvented for every case for everybody. There is no rule. I don't believe in rules. You have to invent your own rules. Do you teach? And stay with them. Do you I don't. Te I teach. No, no, no. I don't give lessons. Thank you. <gasps> no. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Why not? No, I do, no, no, no. Because no, no, no. It's not my uh, my part in life. I hardly went to school. I never went to fashion school. So, don't ask me anything about teaching. Eh? Life, but, life will teach you. But why not? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's, you, you, you think people should learn by themselves? They should, and today it's easier with all the information they can. In the past, it was much more difficult. But today, it's easy to have access to everything. So you can inform yourself and make your choice. In the past, you couldn't. That's very different. Huh? Huh? That reminds me suddenly of a story. I mean, it's not on the subject, but. Uh, Go ahead. No, no, no. It's, it's, I love that the, the, the line. A friend of mine had a husband who had an affair. And one night, she waited for him in the entrance. When he came home late, she only said to him, teach me what she taught you. But you know, this is not the kind of advice you're asking for. <laughs> I get it, I, I think. <laughs> so you see, yeah. but you know, a little touch of humor is always needed, even in fashion. So how don't do take it too seriously. But so if you're saying you don't teach, and then Manuel will take a question from, from the internet. But if you say you don't teach, how do you learn then from others? You learn by, by making, by doing, by, by sketching? Exactly, uh, uh, by having my eyes wide open behind my uh, black glasses. And uh, I like to be informed. Uh, I inform myself. People around inform me. I'm over-informed, and then I make my choice and all that. Huh? You, uh, OK. I, yeah. No, I, I understand. There's no other way. Huh? I, I understand uh, that. You have to be curious. When you think you saw it all, and think like when people are blasé, or when you think the good old days, then forget about you, retire, disappear. But as long as you think it's exciting to see what's going on, what's coming, the changes, because we have to adapt to the changing world. The world has not adapted to us. I'm very sorry. Yeah, you said fashion was very, it's an injust, it, totally in, not just, it's, it's all, it's very... Yeah, but I mean, as we have to get dressed, fashion is a nice way to escape banality. You don't like banality? I hate banality. That's why I'm a big fan of Lady Gaga, because she fights banality too. Manuel, do you have a question from the internet? Yes, um, from Olivier asking, um, could you explain us the concept of mastige you've uh, uh, invented, I think? Of what? Of what? Mastige. Mastige, I, named, I mastige. don't like the word. Yeah. I know, this is a word, I think phonity is not very beautiful. So I don't comment on words I don't like in terms of sound. It says what it is, but I think somebody perhaps me, should invent a nicer word. I don't like the sound of that. Sound like something medical, nearly. <laughs> That's prestige. It's like mastiche, pastiche, you know. Yeah. I don't like that word. You have one more, Manuel? Um, yeah, what do you think about uh, other luxury brands uh, doing uh, defile in Facebook or in 3D or online? Do you think it's a... At the moment, I have the feeling that 3D is not really taking off the way they thought it would take off. So this question has to be re-asked, let's say, six months or a year from here. If I might. Please, Natalie, I was about to ask um, you. I think that it's, it's obviously it's exciting that brands are using the internet to reach a global audience. But in the end, it's about the consumer and having them uh, access the clothes. And it's um, not enough to just get the consumer excited. I think what we're doing in terms of presenting the collection and then letting the consumer all over the world, from Tokyo to Hong Kong to Beijing to Los Angeles to New York to Paris, shop simultaneously and receive their packages within 24 hours, that's the future. But it's you, happening now. You know, today, <laughs> shopping, even on the net, is a cultural activity. Why? It, uh, today, to shop is a cultural mm. uh, activity on the net or in the shop, whatever, because people are into that 100%. Because not everybody is over-cultivated, not everybody knows too much or is too much interested in very sophisticated intellectual things, but everybody is interested in fashion. Huh? And when people say they don't like fashion, they don't care for fashion, they cannot escape it. They get it later as markdowns because they have to dress. How do you see the world, Carl? Just to you know, finish on a broader note, how do you see the world? We have a you know, financial crisis in Europe. We have a 
Yes, but you know, finally, nothing can completely disappear because then there would be no business anymore. That I think they should make a special tax that people have to spend on consumer goods, like a tax, and then the money creates jobs because you talk, everybody talks about consumerism and so on and so on. But it's the only way to create jobs and, and to keep people busy, busy. So it's a very silly thing to think there is too much of it. There are too many people. So everybody needs a job. Huh? But how do you create the jobs? What would you, what would by, you, what do you tell? By doing collections who sell a lot all over the world, you create a lot of jobs. And when you see a, a strike, for example, somewhere, hmm? what do you think? Some people at strike in Greve. What do you think? When, when, when people strike somewhere in the world, they stop walking and they protest. They did it before, they will always do it as part of the game. Huh? Uh, as long as it doesn't hurt their, uh, their own business, it's okay. But, you know, uh, to, to make a strike at Christmas that the people who worked all year over cannot travel, this, I think, is criminal. Do you have any advice for our governments in that crisis? No, you know, I never voted in my life. Huh? The only thing that I do in politics is to make political cartoons, but they cannot be published. <laughs> Because before I became a fashion designer, I wanted to become a cartoon artist, an illustrator, and a portrait painter. But fashion came, and I liked it, so I had not so much time to spend on it. But, you know, I never lived in a country I was a citizen of, so I never voted, but I'm an observer. We'll take one last question. Natalie, would you like to, um, to have a few, a few words uh, and, and possibly a question for Carl? Talk to me about net -Aporté. When do you launch again? On 26th of January, the Carl collection? January 25th, 25th. 2012. And people can go on net -Aporté now? And They can go. sign up to find out information and the uh, digital launch will, um, process will start over the next few weeks and will start heating up in the new year and um, you, everyone will get their instructions online as to what to do, where to report, all the various places around the world where we will have activity and, um, and hopefully lots of women will start wearing the clothes on January 26th. Wonderful. For me that's a, a very stimulating challenge. The same day I have the Chanel Haute Couture shop that is the most expensive in the world and something let's say softer price, to say it nicely, the same day. That means the two ends of what clothes and fashion are all about. I think that's kind of a big chance. This is very exciting that you're doing that. That uh, I can do both and I try to do both properly. And same quality? Yes, in terms of design. It has to, it, it, yes. There is no reason that things who are not expensive are poorly designed. That's for another area. Huh? Uh, today, You can do cheap and great. Yes, oh, I mean, today you can dress 100 times better with nearly little money than 30, 40 years ago, where you got only auras. Uh, no, no, today money is not a reason to explain why you're well dressed or not, because a white shirt with the jeans looks good on everybody when it's impeccable and well worn. So that excuse doesn't exist. I know there are more important things in life than fashion, but as we don't run around naked, maybe we need fashion. Manuel, one last question. Yes, from uh, Harry asking, what would be your best uh, advice for entrepreneurs in the room uh, to build their, their own uh, brand? Yes, yeah. their brand? Our own brand, we have to keep our brand secret for us. I'm not an advisor. <laughs> you can't advise. No, you know, I don't know. Should what we dress kind of like money you? He has, what country he lives, what he's doing, what he wants to sell, what he'll expect, you know. Uh, you cannot give a personal advice to somebody you know nothing about. But you would, you would advise people to be different, it looks like. like should, should I start you know, wearing different clothes and then looking, you yes, know, you so like so Lady Gaga, she's... Yes, yeah, yeah, because she fights against banality. Yeah? So fight banality, so like this is totally boring, That's right? That's not banality, that is style. <laughs> I see. You like that one? <laughs> <laughs> so being different, basically, is your... No, but you know, if you dress in a fancy way or whatever you call it, you have to be 100% Uh, behind. If not, it's Halloween, and so it doesn't work. Huh? It has to be 100% you. Uh, Close is about that. It shows what you are, not what you want to be. You have 60 countries here in, in the room. Uh, is there anything we can help you with? Entrepreneurs, you know, people who create apps like these, you know, they are very, very influent online. Anything we can help, everything we can no, do for I, you? I love the idea, but for the moment I'm quite well organized.
<laughs> well, we would be we'd be happy to help if you think if you think well, uh, there is anything. I'd like to invite the technology community to join us in uh, building uh, what we are going to call Carl's Cult. Um, online and um, our developers have um, will be doing things in open source and um, if you come on to Netaporte and start following some of the things that we're doing if you find interesting um, applications that can join it um, let's get together and make the biggest amount of noise um, in honor of the greatest designer in the world if we want to send you a message something reach you can can they talk to you, email you, can we send you email to your iPad? Or? No, 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 I, I don't no. take mails. You don't take mails? I have, I have no time to, you know, I'm meditating for the 30, uh, 48 hour day. It's a little difficult for me with 24. So no mails? Can I have no time, I, it's impossible, I wouldn't read them, I cannot, you know. I'm still sketching, I still do handwork like in the old way because ideas have to be still found. Even with all those machines, the machines don't found the ideas. Huh? That's a good thing about it. Huh? But I can act like a, a robot, but I'm not. Carl, we're so thankful for your time with us, given that you don't have time, that you took the time to share it with, uh, with no, us. I, it was great to come and you know how much I'm interested in all that. And I think her idea for the venture to launch a brand is great. And I'm more than happy and very pleased and proud to be here. Well, very good luck to both of you. And thank you so much, Carl. Okay. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you very much. I will find you on stage. Thank you so much off the stage. Thank you, Manuel.